Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this time we're going to look at measuring low resistance values in this case this is a very low value uh, resistor um, but it could be even a length of wire something like that we're going to look how we can use hobbyist equipment um, to make reasonably accurate measurements uh, when the conventional ohms range doesn't always give you an answer that you could feel very very confident about so let's see how we're going to do this let's get measuring okay so here we are with our mystery resistor um, and we know it's a very low value I've just got it mounted on the, the breadboard here just for for ease of checking it and I've got a, a selection of meters here I've got the Anang triple eight S I've got my rather ancient fluke um, 23 series 2 and I've got the Kiwitz uh, HD 118A so first thing we're going to do this is the um, the Anang and I'm just going to connect the the probes together and best if we were on resistance really um, connect the probes together and as you can see the readings fluctuating about below 0.1 ohm but it's fluctuating about and I guess what it's trying to do is measure the resistance of the um, of the leads so let's now pop that onto the resistor in question there and it's now saying about well it's drifting about as you can see just move my finger so you can see it properly um, let's make a better contact. So what what is that? Is it point two? Is it point one? Let's be honest. We don't know. It's fluctuating about. Okay. So that's the that's the Anang. Um, let's try the, the fluke. Um, I'll just short the probe leads together, and on the fluke you can see. Um, hopefully you can see if that angle's okay. Yeah. It's reading about, well, between 0 and 0 0.1. So let's now try it on the resistor. And 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So again, we just don't know what that is. 0 at one point, so it's clearly... It's not really giving us any kind of meaningful measurement. And finally the Kiwitz HT118A. Uh, short the probes together. And same point 0.2 there, point 0.3. Just short them again together again there, point 0.1, 0. So similar response to the fluke, point 0.1, 0. So we'll try it on the resistor. Point 0.2, point 0.1, let's try it again, point 0.2, point 0.1, so again we're getting three quite different readings, just just out of interest, the, um, I've also got the uh, Anang 618C here, um, which has its uh, own probe leads, and if I force that onto resistance, mm -hmm. like that, now you're not going to be able to see it terribly well because it won't stand up but if I connect up here we get a beep and it's absolutely convinced that that's just uh, that's zero open circuit and again do the same for the probe leads uh, we get if I could just hold them together in a reliable way for you and we also get zero, zero again well let's hold it so you can actually see the display properly Yeah, so it's same point, yeah, 0 0.1. So again, um, not really a, a meaningful measurement. Um, so how are we going to actually measure this resistor and what kind of um, answer uh, can we possibly get using um, this kind of kit? Okay, so here's a, a circuit that I'm going to use to try and get a more accurate measurement of uh, of the resistor and the resistor in question is the one here marked with with a with a question mark and i've got it uh, set up uh, in series with another uh, heavy duty uh, wire round resistor 
which is going to act as uh, as the load and I'm going to then um, pass uh, a current through both resistors I'm going to measure that current with an ammeter in series and then I'm going to measure the voltage uh, across our mystery resistor uh, and I'm effectively going to be doing what uh, what's usually called a current shunt and it is in fact the way that most uh, multimeters do actually uh, measure current they don't actually measure it directly they measure the voltage across a, a, known, uh, a known resistance in this case we don't know the resistance but we are able to measure the current and the voltage so that should allow us to calculate okay so in practice the circuit looks like this we've got a uh, my heavy duty wire around resistor here i've got a uh, mystery resistor here in series um, I've got the Anang triple eight S set in current mode, and currently this is uh, uh, reading in current, so that's uh, about seven hundred and thirty, well seven hundred and twelve ish milliamps, uh, and I've got the whole thing supplied from uh, from my bench power supply, um, which is currently pushing about um, fifteen volts in. So first of all, let's get the um, the kiwits and let's measure the voltage across the resistor. Uh, like so and that's saying about about 0 0.71 we'll just do that again yeah so about 0 0.71 sorry 0 0.071 volts okay let's um, see what the fluke makes of it again 0.71 and I think the thing to notice here is we're getting a reliable measurement every time 0.71 if we hop back to the to the kiwits uh, still getting a very reliable 0.71 and even um, the extremely cheap and cheap LA Nang 618C will also produce um, a reasonable result uh, if I can hold it so you can see the display let's put the probes on and you can probably see there if I get the angle right um, 0 0.71 so 0 0.071 okay so let's plug uh, our numbers into to Ohm's law we know that um, Ohm's law says V volts are equal to current times resistance more normally written as V equals IR uh, we need to know uh, what R is so dividing both sides of the equation by I uh, allows us to cancel out I on the right hand side leaving us with V divided by I equals R so if we now take uh, numbers and plug them in so it was 0.071 volts divided by 0.704 amps gives 0.1008 so uh, by that method uh, all three meters uh, appear to be telling us that that resistor is uh, 0.1 ohm and it certainly was pur purchased as a 0.1 ohm resistor it was purchased to use as a, a current shunt in a, a project that used an Arduino to measure voltage so um, there we go we've got a reliable measurement uh, of a very low resistance okay and finally there is another way to do this if you're lucky enough to have a, a bench multimeter that's capable of doing that kind of measurement this is the East Tester E3240 and it has the ability to do what's called the four wire method so we'll move the meter into that 4W method there ohms um, and if you want to know how the four wire method works um, there's a link up there to a very uh, good video by W2AW who ex explains the theory behind it um, so I'll not attempt to do that he's done a far better job than me so we connect the two sense leads using bulldog clips across the across the resistance in the exactly the same manner as we would normally there and then we're just going to place the probes and for ease I'm going to just place them uh, on the bulldog clips there so I get a reasonably good contact and as you can see if I come off again go back on fairly consistently it's saying 0 0.1 about one, well, 0 0.14 there 0 0.15 let's go back on 0 0.15 let's hop back on again yeah 0 0.14 0 0.15 so again it's given me a consistent measurement and isn't uh, isn't particularly drifting about um, so it isn't 
quite the same as the result we got using the uh, Ohm's law method, uh, but it is nonetheless um, a repeatable measurement. Um, and 0.14 ohms, yes, I think that's probably probably near enough for what uh, what the hobbyists might need. But there you go. Um, at some point, I'll do a review of the East Tester. It's a nice bit of kit, and I've I'm still getting to grips with its many facilities, but um, it is uh, it is quite nice. Okay, that's almost it for uh, for this video. But uh, just before we finish, uh, why do you need very low value resistors? Well, I did allude earlier that to uh, the fact that uh, multimeters actually use a very low value resistance to make their current measurements. And here I've got a my very ancient um, uh, Maplin analog meter, which no longer works reliably. But if I just take the back off and now, well, you can see that there's a piece of heavy gauge wire runs across here. And that is effectively the current shunt, and what the and in current mode, high current mode, which I think is, um, yeah, I think it's 10 amps on this. Um, the current passes through that wire, and the meter just measures the voltage across that across that uh, that very low value resistance. And obviously, to be able to work out what the the current is, we need to know the resistance. So. Measurements like that do need to be made. If you're going to do something perhaps with an Arduino and you want to measure current, uh, you might want to use that for a, a current shunt as well. There we go. Okay. Um, normally I've been producing videos on a Thursday. Uh, next week uh, it's going to be Friday. Um, Friday is quite a special day. It's Christmas Day, if that's something that you celebrate, wherever you are. Um, and there's a bit of a, a Christmas special, or my attempt at a Christmas special. So you can look forward to that um, on uh, on Christmas morning. Thanks very much for watching. Thumbs up if you've liked it. If not, thumbs down. Either way, it'd be absolutely great if you could subscribe. Thanks very much to all my subscribers so far. And thanks very much for all the comments I've been getting as well. Please keep them coming. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.